Paul and Gift Shima have muscular dystrophy, but that didn't stop them from starting their own choir. And now they're working on their second album. Tanya Kriviak has more. One, two, three, go. Today is your day. Music has always been a part of Paul Chuma's life, a universal language, he says, that speaks volumes. I'm going to make a difference in people's lives through music. The gospel singer has been doing just that for years now, composing arrangements, writing lyrics. You are worthy, 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 you are worthy of all my praise. He and his brother Gift use music to share their story. Both want their music, their positive outlook on life, to inspire others. Regardless of what situation or where you are in life, there's something you can do. So I, was, I wanted to show people that I, even though I'm disabled, I can, there's more than what you think I can give. What he gives is his talent for bringing people together. I have a blast because it allows me to, you know, get down and get into the pocket, which is what I love. And so it gives me a chance to express myself and be creative. Ten years ago, Paul and Gift co-founded the United Tribulation Choir. Last year, they released their first album. Let's tell our own story to people. Let's come together in spite of our backgrounds and how we were brought up. But let's, let's allow music to unite us. Paul does his writing and his composing at home. He just recently graduated from Concordia's music studies. No matter how hard it is, you just have to push until, until you reach to your final goal. And he did. With an honor, Paul was handed the O'Brien Award for his work in the community. Sometimes you do things and you don't think people are looking. You're like, oh, okay, you know, I'm just doing uh, what I love doing. And like, I didn't know that Concordia was like paying a lot of attention at me. The award comes as no surprise to his brother, though. Uh, when he sets his mind on something, it's like he's unstoppable, and that is very evident in everything that he does. Theo, can I start us off intro? While Paul inspires, he's also learned quite a bit from others, too. How to really be a good leader and a good listener uh, to people's needs. And I learned that we all have different needs, but when we come together, we are one big voice. When I look at all your hands made, a voice that carry messages of hope, a reminder that yes, we face challenges and tribulations, but we do have the power to overcome them. Every day for me, or every minute is so special, and I make the best out of it. Words to live by. Tanya Kriviak, CTV News.